Sometimes having too much data that you don't know what to do with can be as much of a challenge as not having any data at all. And in an industry that runs on data, it can be easy to get lost in all of the data input and output that comes through your fleet on a day-to-day -day basis. Welcome to Understanding Fleet Data, a series where we tackle different sources of data and how to best leverage them within your fleet management system. Today, we'll look at fuel data, where and how to collect it, its roles in fleet reporting, and how to use it to control spending, as well as gain insight into potential problem areas in your fleet. So where do you find fuel data? For fleets who are still taking an analog approach to fleet management, there's a lot to be found in daily manual recordings. Ideally, your spreadsheets should capture all kinds of vehicle data, like vehicle and driver ID, odometer readings, the date of time of purchase, the cost of unit and the number of units purchased, and location and vendor. For tackling fuel data, you should be regularly registering your asset's fuel economy, which involves tracking mileage, tank capacity, and fuel purchase receipts, so you can observe a vehicle's fuel efficiency over time. If you do utilize the manual means of recording fuel data, beware that human error can often get in the way of having an accurate representation of that data. Consistency and thorough review is key to gaining insight from your spreadsheets. Fleet management software tends to be a more consistent way to manage fuel data from simplified data entries to integrations with other data sources. Fuel cards offer many benefits for fleets, and a big one is the amount of data they collect automatically. When your drivers visit the pump, they're typically prompted to key in a driver ID and the vehicle's odometer reading. While a transaction itself captures the number of gallons or liters pumped, cost per unit, fuel grade, location, and the time of fueling, you can use these data points to monitor the fuel economy, fuel cost, purchase locations, and potential fuel theft. While fuel cards alone provide a good amount of data, integrating your fuel cards into a telematics or FMS allows for automated data collection and consolidates the data with other information you may be tracking to provide a more complete picture of your fleet's fuel use. So what do you do with fuel data? Once you've assembled your fuel data, your two biggest responsibilities are to monitor spending on fuel and how much fuel your vehicles are using. No surprise that fuel budgets make up one of the biggest categories of spending for most fleets. So using your fuel card data to determine how much and where you are spending can go a long way into helping you gain insight into your fuel expenses, as well as finding ways to reduce them. Fuel consumption isn't just an economic measure, though it's a great way to keep an eye on a healthy vehicle. For example, if your telematics data indicates decreasing fuel economy despite maintaining similar routes and idle times, you might have a mechanical issue to address, fuel theft, or a vehicle replacement plan. And if you want more tips on managing your fuel data, check out the rest of our Understanding Fleet Data series for more ways to capitalize of the abundance of data at your fingertips.